Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to SimCity 4. This is Needs More Drums in our mini-series where we're uh, taking a look back at SimCity 4 to see if it is still a good game. And so far, I've been having a lot of fun. So for episode three, we are going to build in this new little tile. This is just south of our Nostalgia Hill City that we worked on in the last episode. And we're gonna be uh, trying to make this a little bit more of a dense area. So I wanna drag this avenue out we have a train connection here. We have a road connection here. And I know we don't have a lot of land to work with, but I think we can get a pretty decent sized, kind of a, not necessarily a coastal town since the elevation change is pretty dramatic. But at the very least, we could do a nice little, uh, you know, downtown area here and maybe some uh, pretty, you know, dense and more grid-like suburbs kind of going out uh, into this area over here. So my one goal though, is that I want to see if I can make a bridge across the bay here because on the south side of this uh, like this side of uh this map there's another body of water and then it's also connected it's kind of like a inverse of this like a flip-flop so um you know the water extends and then there's land on the other side so i wonder if i can drag a bridge have it connect just over the water to the neighboring tile and then expand that connection out i have a feeling i won't be able to do that but we're going to try it anyway but if not we're still uh, going to be connecting this way and maybe this way too so let's go ahead and get started jump right into a time lapse and just get building. All right, and so jumping into the build, first thing I do is try to build this bridge and realize that it is actually not possible to do that. So I'm wondering in the future though, if I could do something a little nifty and maybe like add like a, like a little plot of land just right at the edge, you know, and kind of make a bridge there and then have like a road connection and then make a bridge on the other side part of the map when I get to it. I, I don't know. Sometimes I do have like little land, you know, areas like a little island that the one of the bridge uh, supports will will sit on. So uh, maybe I'll think of something like that if there's like a little way that I can work around this to make a bridge over the whole bay. So we'll see. But for now, I thought I would jump right into getting a little bit of a grid layout going here. And you can see kind of as this progresses that uh, my mind keeps wanting to go to like city skylines mode and, you know, make some cool intersections and some like right here, you know, like a something a little practical, but uh, can't do that. You know, the, the road tools are uh, very limiting in this game, which is, you know, to be expected because this game is like 20 years old. So no worries there, but you know, just, I, I just forget what is and is not possible. It's been, you know, a long time since I've really sat down and tried to try to build to this extent in this game. So um, anyway, here, you know, just kind of getting an idea of where the rail line is going to sit because I do want to have a passenger station and uh, probably, you know, a freight station in the city as well, uh, you know, for the uh, small amount of industry that I plan to have. Since this is actually a super small tile, you know, there's not a ton of room to work. So I'm kind of trying to think about building the industry on the very, very edges of the map to avoid really polluting this. Plus, since we do have some road connections, you know, people can travel to neighboring cities to go work if they need to as well. But uh, since we were experiencing a little bit of a of an employment issue in the uh, in the last episode with the last city, you know it's um, kind of important. I, I wanted to make sure that we do have some workplaces here for the uh, citizens of you know especially like the lower wealth citizens that are probably going to be working more in the uh, industry and you know some low level commercial um, because the wealth in the region is not super high yet. You know there's not a lot of land value. There's not a lot of uh, there hasn't been a lot of time for higher education either. So I don't even think I have anything above a high school yet in the region. So we're going to have to work on that in the future. But for now, just working on getting some of these basic city services down, particularly that power plant. I know it's more than what we need, hence why I am making a neighboring connection. And uh, I might actually go back and make a connection up to the uh, up north, you know, uh, where we're looking right now, being north um, to the uh, uh, Nostalgia Hill city that we worked on in the last episode so that, you know, we can do a Kind of a regional power trade when needed in the power plants can kind of feed off each other you know since i do have two in that last city and only one in this city so um yeah i just didn't want to i didn't have a connection already in place so we needed some power so i decided to just build another one but here i'm doing a little bit of a mix of some low density and medium density housing like i said in the beginning i do want this to be a relatively i know it's a small like a very very small space but I do want this to have a little bit more higher density since it's kind of on the, you know, on the coast. Uh, you know, we have a main avenue running through here. It would be expected that this would probably have a little bit 
more of some uh, some dense apartment buildings and stuff. And that was my goal for this episode was to try to get that density. And it's actually not really too easy to just do right from the start, especially since this region is so new and there's really not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of land value. There's not a lot of, um, you know, like other city services that would constitute having some higher zoning. So I just thought I'd give it a try and, you know, it didn't really work like I hoped it would, but you know, it is what it is. I kind of expected that to happen. But um, one thing that I could do that I just clicked into the uh, financial tab, I could subsidize medium and high wealth citizens if I wanted to, but I, I don't, by lowering taxes for those groups, but I feel like that is kind of uh, unrealistic in a way and I really don't want to do that you know because I feel like it kind of messes with your city's growth you know I want my city to grow a little bit more naturally and obviously over time people will become more educated they'll demand for some higher wealth uh, residences and then in turn like higher wealth jobs you know some more offices and everything so by the time we get to a pretty big downtown you know kind of the major city of the region which will probably happen pretty soon I mean again I don't expect this series to go on for too long you know it'll be cool to to have a very very solid workforce and hopefully educated workforce from uh nearby cities you know already in place so we'll cross our bridge when we get there um but you know with with the way that this game works it's uh pretty easy to grow your cities pretty quickly i mean look at this one for example you know hence the uh probably something that that i'll put in the title is uh how fast it you know we're able to grow this small town and sure enough I mean I only was playing this game a lot of this footage is sped up and I only played this game for about 45 minutes or so and I was able to get you know pretty much well not pretty much like basically all of the uh, available space populated to a realistic extent without you know getting too close to the coast and you know that experiencing having to work with that um that huge terrain drop off so here we're able to fill up the city pretty quickly I know I, def I definitely overzoned the commercial areas, but you know over time I anticipate that those will develop, and you know it's better to kind of just have a placeholder for those for now, so I kind of know how the city is going to be laid out in the future. So uh, pretty soon we're going to jump into a little brief cinematic um, while we watch the city grow a little bit, but uh, just filling up some of these other zones in the meantime. So I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Right, and back into the build here. I realized that I had forgotten to put down the passenger train station that I planned for literally right in the beginning of the build. So <laughs> went ahead and did that. I'm happy I've, I've done that. You know, I although the simulation isn't as detailed as, um, you know, in, in a like city skylines or anything like that, uh, it is kind of just nice to, you know, put down those public transport stations and networks and, you know, envision that people are able to travel between these cities by using the, uh, the rail system. So just messing with the budget, putting down some city services, continuing to expand on the zoning, just little by little chipping away at this build. And uh, then we're gonna jump into something a little bit different. I think it's a live play. We'll see. <laughs> Talk to you guys in a minute. All right, well, as you can see, we've 
pretty much almost filled the whole map and um, there's not a ton going on so I think I'm gonna just take a second kind of let the game run we're not getting any medium density zones or anything yet I think we need to wait a little bit more um, you know since the city just started we gotta wait for some of that demand to kick in and uh, you know education to get a bit higher and stuff too hopefully we'll start making some more taxes as the uh, you know the wealth and the density increases then we might look into building something like a high school or something like that but for now yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and let the game run and um, as you yeah, know we can build that bridge I'm still bummed about that but <laughs> oh well uh, we will talk in a minute and uh, yeah stay tuned Alright, and so after watching the city grow, just kind of jumping around here and, you know, checking our budgets, checking our city services, seeing where we can make any improvements since we are kind of struggling for cash at this moment. This is such a small, that's the problem with these small tiles. You know, it's so difficult to get a stable income with these super small city tiles because it's like, you just can't get enough people in in the low density zones, which is kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to go straight for some higher density with the hopes that I can bring in some more tax revenue, bring in the a higher population pretty quickly. But even at this stage, it's proving to be relatively difficult in the city to uh, bring in a large, you know, dense population. I mean, I think we end this episode with like, you know, looking at it now, we have about 2000. I think we don't really get much higher than that, to be honest with you, um, maybe another you know, thousand people at the, at the most. I mean, we end this episode, I think around like the 2800 mark or something. So not super great. I'm kind of figuring out what to do with some of these areas. You know, we do need more industry. The demand for industry is very high. I'm even thinking about in the future, maybe making a completely industrial based city since, you know, we do have so much demand for industry or at least not industrial based, meaning like, you know, filling up the whole tile, but um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> I forgot about the some of these overlays are kind of funny, you know, and uh, looking where we need. Yeah, I was checking our crime and, and fire data to see, you know, what city services uh, we still need. And we do need, you know, um, police and fire in the city. I mean, they will attract having these city services does attract higher wealth citizens, which in turn leads to more tax revenue. So as the saying goes, got to spend money to make money. But let's take another little, little break and uh, jump into something really, really fun that I forgot you could do in this game. A few moments later. Yeah, so fun fact, I actually used to, uh, well, not used to, I still want to be in some capacities uh, like a firefighter or something or a volunteer firefighter. Um, there's a lot of those departments, you know, around kind of where I live. So the goal one day is to get on a department. And uh, so when I was younger, you know, I always that was always a dream of mine too. And um, I just used to love going into this game and driving a little fire truck around and, you know, <laughs> having, having tons of fun. So uh, really, really cool that, you know, I totally forgot that you could do those uh, little driving missions in this game uh but yeah here just uh detailing up i use the word detailing oh my gosh see skyline's talking but uh yeah detailing up this high school adding in some parks and there was this weird bug where sometimes you can't play you can only place one thing at a time and then you gotta look out of the menu and you know kind of annoying but um it is what it is it's all good so yeah just about to jump back into the uh, final life play here so uh yeah i'll talk to you guys in a second Alright, and so I've let the game 
run for a couple of years here and I am still kind of surprised that I'm not really seeing any medium density, you know, like apartments or anything being developed. So I think I w I'm guessing I'm going to have to jump into like another city in the region and kind of just boost the, the, the demand, you know, across the region. Because I feel like this game kind of works like that, you know, everything sort of uh, pieced together and kind of, you know, it's, it's all linked. And so your what you do in one city affects what happens in your other cities. So I wonder if, you know, there's just not really enough of a demand regionally for some medium density zones yet. I noticed even in, in the uh, Nostalgia Hills, even in our, our bigger city that we did last episode, uh, I was struggling a little bit to get some I was starting to get some apartment blocks and things but not a ton and so I'm wondering if having this connection here and uh, even this rail connection you know might boost the demand over there in that city as well so maybe we can jump back there and uh, work on that a little bit in the future or something too and see if that helps you know boost some of this uh, medium and high density demand across the region but uh, for now I think we're gonna go ahead and call it an episode it wasn't a super long one uh, but, you know, we did fill like an entire map pretty much and it just goes to show you just how quickly you could uh, really, you know, grow a city in this game. I mean, granted, we only have, you know, 2,800 people, but it's still not not too bad for the amount of space that we have to work with. I just didn't come down here because the terrain was pretty steep. Same with, you know, all this. I just I don't really like to build on that stuff. It's not super realistic. Uh, granted, you know, there's a lot of parts of this game that aren't realistic, but that's something that I'd like to stay away from. You know, I don't want to build on any super crazy steep hills or anything like that. So we're just going to leave this as is for now. And we might come back to this later or I might, you know, build the city a little bit off camera. Um, see if I can kind of mess with the region a little bit and, you know, get some get some higher demand going. But uh, yeah, for now, I think this is pretty good. And um, in the next episode, we'll probably do something similar and just start maybe in the tile next to this kind of out this way. You know, there's a, a little bit more available land there. Maybe we can build another little town and just keep the region expanding, get this population going, get, you know, some rail connections and everything together. Uh, hopefully it'll help stimulate some growth in the, uh, in the population and in the whole area. So thanks again, you guys for watching. I know this is a little bit of a, just a fun kind of one-off series, but uh, I'm enjoying it and I hope you are too. So stay tuned for the next episode and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.